One of the things that attracts people to Francis is his recognition of the overwhelming goodness of God. <clears throat> There's a way in which God entered into Francis's life, and Francis saw that uh, God's love is so overflowing that no matter how miserable, how weak, how sinful we are, uh, God loves us, God embraces us. God has a special preference uh, for those who are poor, uh, marginalized, for those who are the weakest in our community. The night that changed my life, it was like two in the morning, Everybody was sleeping, I was up, and I just remember seeing the crucifix above my, above my door. And I, I fell down on my knees, and I put my hands together, and I just started to pray the Hail Mary, talking to Mary for the first time. I think it was the first real prayer I'd ever said. At that moment, I felt a peace I can't even describe. Something supernatural, a, a love that was beyond anything I'd ever encountered before. And, and I knew at that moment that I was feeling the closeness of Mary. And I came to understand later that I was feeling God's love through her. I found Francis irresistible as a person. And his approach to the gospel so clean and simple and clear that uh, it was hard for me to imagine choosing any other way of life. So I think that at the heart of what it means to be a Capuchin is to be a Franciscan. And what at the heart, heart of being a Franciscan, a genuine one, is to be fascinated by St. Francis and committing yourself to live after the fashion of his life. God gives all the vocations the church needs, but unfortunately very often people say no or are unaware uh, of their calling. I would encourage people to look into their own hearts, to pray, uh, to reflect on uh, what the Lord is asking them to do with their lives. And, uh, because all of us have a vocation and a, a loss of the sense of vocation is one of the things that occasions the present crisis in the church. When I talk to young people in the world today, I sense in them a dissatisfaction with everything the world has to offer. Simply put, they're looking for more. They're looking for something more meaningful in their lives. And so they look, consider religious life could the Lord be calling me to be a priest, to be a brother? And as Pope Francis says to the youth, be courageous. If God is calling you, be courageous in saying yes. I resisted for many years the, the whole idea of a vocation. I was sure that I was not called that way, but it was something that wouldn't go away in, in my life. And I think that often happens with people, that they just feel there's got to be something more. In my case, I said, well, I'm just going to try this. I figured once I tried it, I would be sure that it wasn't for me. But in fact, here I am today, uh, and I'm glad, I'm glad I made that jump. I sort of jumped in the deep end and said, well, let's just, let's just give it a try. And what made St. Francis so attractive so quickly was that he cut through all the confusion uh, to live the gospel life in a way that was joyful and, uh, and very enticing. I think if people read the life of St. Francis, they'll be attracted to, uh, to him and perhaps to follow his way in our time. So I think we have to somehow, as Franciscans, and the whole church uh, needs to do more about making St. Francis known in our time. Once he's known, he'll take over, he's attractive. The sense of being called often is through an intimacy and in prayer and perhaps also through the witness of other brothers who serve to inspire them. Money and riches are not gonna bring us happiness, neither is power and prestige. Uh, and I think that's common to most vocations that we know um, that the serving the Lord is what's gonna give us fulfillment in life and coming to know God's goodness is gonna be what grounds us and how we live. They are being called first to a life of holiness and discipleship and that each of them also has a personal vocation uh, which is a path to fulfillment and to happiness in their own lives and uh, it's not just about choosing a career to make money but uh, discovering what God's will is in our life and if we discover that then we will find the meaning and the happiness that we all desire.